Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in uh, into my LV breast pump review series. So I already did a review on the LV pump. It's the pump that I'm currently using for my twin uh, breastfeeding journey. I'm exclusively pumping now. And this pump has saved me so much time, uh, so much stress, and I'm really, really in love with it. There are, however, um, a few things you should know about it while you're getting to uh, understand how it works best with you. And then also a couple things that you can do to troubleshoot it if you run into any problems. So um, I'm just going to dive right into some of the issues that I've had using this pump and what I've done to resolve them. Okay, so the first problem that I've, I had with the pump was just learning how to fit these into um, a bra and basically making sure that it maintains great suction while it's being used. So one of the things that I found was the essential part of making these fit well is having the right um, like flange size, these uh, little shields as they're called, and then having the right bra. So um, I found that the LV comes with these like little strap um, snaps that uh, latch right onto a regular nursing bra. I found that sports nursing bras work the best. And so that's what I've stuck to. I have several of those that I just um, uh, cycle through and um, these fit really well into them. And because the straps have a little more stretch than a normal bra, I don't have to use the strap extenders. However, if your favorite bra happens to not be as stretchy, um, your favorite nursing bra, you can use the strap extenders and they uh, fit really well. I went through three or four different types of bras before I found one that was comfortable to wear with uh, both of these units in it. And then um, once I did, I just, I, I had several of those bras um, in general. Um, if I only had one of them, I would have bought two more um, so that I had enough to cycle through and wash. But um, yeah, so a really good bra and a really good fit is the best way um, to make sure that these stay sn snugly um, tight to your chest when you're pumping. Um, anything too loose and the suction, the suction won't be right. And anything too tight will actually... I find constricts the flow of milk into the pumps. Um, so that's number one is getting used to that. I think I, if I were you, I would try like one or two bras uh, over once or twice each and then move on and see which one works the best for you. Some of you might have several bras. I just find that I have one style that works the best and it's the easiest. Um, and that's the one I don't have to use the, the strap extenders with. Um, Speaking of suction, which is what you need when you're wearing the right size bra for these, sometimes when these go on, I will assemble these. So I'm assembling it with the base and um, I'm putting it onto the uh, unit. And then I've got the shield that goes in like this. So on the website, they'll show you to actually put this, the shield onto the breast first and then come in with the unit and push it tight once the shield is already on. But I found that when I was learning to use it, it was easier for me to um, do that a couple times and get an idea of how the shield had to um, come on to the breast to fit right. And then after that, I didn't put it on separately. So I would put the shield onto the unit first and then I would put the whole unit on. Um, that tended to make things a little bit easier, but again, I did several pumps doing it the way they showed. So I understood like what angle I'm coming in at with the, um, shield itself so that it's a perfect fit. And then once that happened, I found it easier to actually just have the shield already attached to the unit, um, and then putting it on because once you get the hang of it and you know how it should fit and it should feel, it's a little bit easier to put it on each and every time. Sometimes I would assemble it and I would turn the suction on once it was on and the suction wouldn't be as strong as I thought it should be for when it turns on. You'll get kind of a feel of how strong the suction should be. In that case, I just would take the pump out and give it a good press. Occasionally when I was just clipping them together, 
I would clip it, but I wouldn't clip it sug- snugly. And on the inside, um, all the um, green, like I, I think it's like a suction cap, needs to meet with the shield completely. And sometimes if I was quickly latching it and unlatching it, I was going to so like this. It looks like it's on, but in fact, I can actually press it a little more into itself and, and get a better fit. So I just take it out of the, br the bra. I put... I push it together a little snugger. Um, if I put it back in and it's not the suction isn't perfect, what I will do is take this off and make sure that this piece um, isn't uh, off kilter um, because this is removable so it can slide around and just make sure that it's on really, really well on straight and snap that back in there. The last thing to check that one time this happened and I it's never happened again, um, if the suction isn't perfect, is to take off this little green piece. I don't know if it's easy to see that. Um, below, right here is this thing that opens where the milk will will dip in, will drip in from. There was like a piece of fuzz from the dish towel that had gotten in between that little opening. And so when it was in the machine, it wasn't able to open and close correctly. And so the suction was way off and kind of weird. Um, once I cleaned it out, it the suction went uh, right back to normal. So that's just something to check out and look for. Uh, if you find that you've reattached it, you've, re, um, you've checked all the pieces, just check that little uh, closure to make sure that it that's not there's no like fuzz or anything in it preventing it from sealing the way it should. Um, so that's basically all the issues with suction that I've ever had. Uh, practice makes perfect with these, getting the right fit, uh, getting uh, where it's not too tight, not too loose in your bra. But once you get the hang of it, it becomes really easy. I think at first it may seem like a, uh, a lot of work, but now I can get these on in a matter of like 10 seconds and suction's usually right there. And again, if it's not perfect, I just pull it right back out, make sure all the pieces are pressed together uh, tightly because sometimes like when you're in a hurry, you're just kind of slapping it together um, and that there's no fuzz or debris of any sort in the unit, that it's clean and it's dry. Um, once you wash all the pieces, make sure that they're dried re really well. That's where that fuzz came from with, was me really drying out the parts. And so just make sure there's no fuzz on it either. All right. So the second thing uh, outside of suction and fit that um, I want to talk about troubleshooting is the uh, yellow light that appears on top of the unit. And it will be right up here. Um, when, you're, when, you, when the light comes on, it'll appear um, right here. And it's right above the play button. It's so funny. I know it's not the play button, it's the on button, but I just call it that um, because it also is like a pause. Um, when the yellow light comes on, it automatically will pause your pumping session. And that is because the yellow light indicates that there's an issue, usually that um, the uh, base is full. And so um, on your LV unit, there's like a sensor. So if you tip forward with it on, the milk will push, sorry, the milk should push forward to the front of the unit and the sensor will read it as full. So for example, if I drop something on the floor when I'm wearing it, my best bet is to squat down um, and only have to lean forward a little bit. Um, if I just am feeling lazy, I just, you know, tip over and grab it and pull back up. It won't spill out, but um, the sensor will read the milk as full and it will automatically pause the unit. And all I have to do is sit back upright and hit the play button again, or hit the play button from your app, and the pump will start over again. Um, it'll say it needs to be emptied, but obviously if you just have tipped it over and you know it doesn't need to be emptied, um, you can just start it back up by hitting the button to go. That being said, if you're standing upright and that happens um, and you get the little yellow light and it stops pumping, that's because the unit is actually full. It holds up to, I just want to double check this, I think four ounces. And so um, once it's up to that, it'll ask you to take the base off, empty it and snap it back into place. And then you can hit the play button again and continue pumping if you uh, produce that much in one sitting. Uh, it's a really good uh, fail safe so that you don't overflow and spill um, your milk. Um, 
that's the only time I've seen that light come on. Uh, I don't know if there's other reasons it comes on. I haven't had it come on for any other reason. So that's uh, just keep an eye out for that. Sometimes I think I am not tipped over very far. Like if I'm in the washing machine grabbing something from the bottom, I'm like, this shouldn't set it off if I'm wearing the pumps. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. So if I just feel the pump stop and I see that yellow light, I just hit play again because I know most likely the, you know, the, uh, it isn't full. It's just that the milk has hit the sensor. The last thing that I came across with the LV, um, when I was using it was, uh, the pumps not responding when I went to use a button. So I had pumped, uh, I think this was like a week or two ago, maybe last week I had pumped using the, uh, both, I was using both units and I hit pause on the app and I took them out of my bra. And then so they they sat on the counter. I popped off the uh, unit on the bottom and just the base was still on. Um, if the power is on, the uh, play button will be lit up in a ring and there'll be a light behind it. So I hit the power button to turn it off um, and I hit the power button on the second unit to turn it off and it didn't turn off. So I was like, well, that's weird. So then I hit the play button and it wouldn't play. And I hit the left and right, uh, like indicator and that wouldn't change. And so it was like the pumps were frozen. So I looked it up really quick online and it just kind of said like, like a phone or like a computer, it is a little mini computer it can freeze up from time to time. And so the uh, thing to do is just plug the units in. And so I took them to the little cords, I plugged them each um, in, and instantly when the power uh, registered in the units, um, the lights all just went off and they turned off and I was able to turn power them off and on again, like normal, hit the play button and turn the pumps on and off, uh, turn the section on and off just like before. So if you ever get, it where you take the pumps off and you go to turn them off and they won't turn off or you can't get them to, you know, pause and unpause or whatever the issue is and it feels stuck. The quickest way is just to plug them into the chargers and it instantly fixed the problem for me. So those are my top uh, tips for troubleshooting the LV. If um, those are just the things that I ran into, I haven't really run into any other problems. Like I feel like for the most part, uh, I try to remind myself to carefully place it, wear a well-fitting bra, make sure that the unit is uh, dry every time I use it. Like even a little bit of moisture, I feel like, you know, a, a tiny bit's fine. But like if it if the unit's soaking wet, you just wash it and you put it back together. I don't feel like it works as well. Um, oh, there was one more thing that someone else, this didn't, this hasn't really happened to me as much, um, but it did happen to someone else with the LV. Um the suction is really good up to about, for my units, about 30%. When it hits the 30% mark, I find that I can kind of feel the suction is not as good on the same levels. Um, I did have someone else say that when they were pumping after one or two pumps, you know, the pumps are down to 50%, it lost suction. Mine don't lose power. I don't feel like I lose that much, much suction that early, but other people have. And so they actually contacted LV. I'm not sure what the outcome of it was, but... I find that the unit obviously works better fully charged because we're talking about powerful suction here in a very small uh, rechargeable compact uh, machine. So um, I always just charge them full whenever I can. Um, I find that I can get up to five, uh, five, 10 minute um, pumps out of them or three to four 15 minute pumps. And they, t I don't tend to see a huge drop in power until the very last pump. If it's on like pump four or five, um, it doesn't usually, I'm not usually away from an outlet that long that I can't, uh, recharge it in between. So it's not really an issue, but if you find that that's an issue, feel like you're losing power at 50%, um, just charge your LV more often. They charge pretty quickly. And I feel like once they're charged up, the suction is really, really strong for me, like I said, down all the way to 30%. Um, so yeah, well-fitting bra, clean, dry pumps, charge pumps, um, uh, plug it in if the lights aren't, if the buttons aren't responding. And then uh, the yellow light means that you either the 
uh, re- the canister is full or it thinks it's full because you've bent over too far and you've um, triggered the sensor. So if you have any other questions about the LV, they're amazing both on social media and on their website. You can uh, email them, or you can send them a DM. They're really quick to respond. And I'm just so excited that this company, they I don't know how new they are. I, I started hearing about them just a couple months ago. People are telling me they came on the market just a couple years ago. Um, I think as far as issues with the pump, if you have any, they're really quick to help you out to troubleshoot or even replace all LV units come with a two year uh, warranty. So if, if for any reason something is truly wrong with the pump that can't be troubleshot, like over an email or with a quick fix, they are really good about helping you replace the pumps as well. I haven't had to do that. Um, My pumps work amazing and I love them, but I just wanted to share some of the things that I do to keep them in good working condition and um, have the best pump with um, each unit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have questions about the LV, please put them below. I love answering questions about this amazing breast pump. It has changed my life. I say that all the time, but this morning I pumped uh, while walking my dog. I pumped while taking a client call. Um, I pumped while driving to pick up groceries. It's just amazing all the time that I can Uh, you know, save during the day and also be able to pump and do other stuff. So any questions, drop them below. I'll try to try to answer them. Also, they have a great Q&A, like a FAQ, I guess, Q&A on their website that can also help you troubleshoot. But uh, I'll try to answer any questions that I can. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I may do one more uh, video on this series comparing this with another Uh, product that's similar. We'll see. Bye guys.